Holy Spirit, please come and speak to us. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, let's welcome him. Being spiritual. Being spiritual. Help me to turn to the book of Genesis 18. Genesis 18. Let's read from verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. When he saw them, he ran to meet them. I want to show you the quality of a spiritual man so that we may learn how the spiritual world works for example today while I ministered I told you something you may not have known I told you that the spirit that operates in me is a gentle spirit any movement, any misconduct disconnects me. When I look into the, in, in, into the spirit, the keyboard must be locked also. Today let's speak spiritual things. Today let us speak spiritual things and spiritual examples. Are you with me? I went with Joshua. Some time back we went together to minister somewhere. Remember that day? Joshua played the keyboard. And the prince of God came down. The only thing I had to do was to harm. He just played the keyboard. And the spirit moved. Talking about people, those people were elderly people. They, they were on the knees crying so that has come back as an example in that season Joshua had touched somewhere I'm beginning with him as an example he had touched into some dimension in the spirit that specific season after that, I did not know what happened. Something happened and that touch was lost. Are you with me? That touch was lost. So, he continued playing the same that played. 
It's called a progression. Chitwa progression. The same progression. Progression yem. So he played this. Yachikuba. When we went to the other church. We talk in a mukani seri. The Holy Spirit moved strongly. Omayom tikubina tamla maman. I think after two Sundays or one Sunday, he played it again here. And it was dry. So I asked the Lord, what is that? Same player? Same progression? Are you with me? Same turning, speed, key, everything. But then it was dry. And then the Lord spoke to me about many things. But then I concluded that it's important that the minister learns being spiritual. I'm not, I'm not going to teach like the way you do usually. I want to share with us because this is more of a practical thing. Somebody say practicing a spiritual life. Life is supposed to be symmetrical. It's supposed to be balanced. Bo yeah, balanced. Balanced. Both the spiritual and the physical must resemble. Are you with me? So many of us live an asymmetrical life where the spiritual world looks different and the physical world looks something else. Looks like something else. That's why you find a person coveting spiritual gifts that they cannot sustain. Many people who claim to have faith, who claim to have faith, have verbal faith, they do not have the life of faith. Because whereas faith is a strong word in our ranks, there is the word of faith and there is the lifestyle of faith. That means that a person can preach faith. A person can speak powerful words of faith and yet not live by faith. But the Bible says in Habakkuk, for example, 2 4, that the just shall live by faith. Are you here? So, there is a life in faith by faith with the faith. That means faith has a side which is verbal and the same faith has a side which is practical. If a person is not spiritual, they can speak words of faith and never live by the same words, never live by faith. What does that mean? It means that a person can play a good tone and a good tune, good projection, 
but because they are not living in the spirit of that tune ne kubanga tsatambulya mu bulamu obwomoyo obatune that tune will be an entertainment eyo tune eja kuba kuchamukiriza on that day it is played kuna kolole kubibwa many people abantu banje i'm still giving you ground and then share very few things and then we we pray nchazi mbatu gabane bitu bitano tusabe many people usually say abantu banje batino gamba this year omwaka guna by faith I'm going to become great. This year, I'm entering new places. This year, I'm entering new zones. I prophesy. People receive prophecies. People verbalize the prophecies. People claim new dimensions. And then reality sets in. Reality sets in. reality sets in amazimane gaja where the principality of the land that was hearing you claim by faith comes to check whether your words are symmetrical bifanagana with your lifestyle no bulamu bo I don't know if you understanding where we are going. So a person says we are healed. By his stripes. And then sickness comes. And then sickness checks to see Whether the man that was shouting we are healed. can live by the shout so living by faith is a spiritual thing but speaking faith may be a copy pasted thing i wish you could get it So we can have the emotions of faith the feelings of faith what i call emotionalism living by feelings are you with me so you can have the emotions of faith and not have the life of faith please hear tonight that's why when challenges come the man who built on sand also looked like a builder the man who built on sun looked like a builder until the flood came so the one who builds on the rock was building spiritual the one who built on sand was building emotionally i don't know that you are even here they both built on the day when it is well with their souls ngabiri bulunji nememezawe we celebrate both because their faiths look beautiful their faiths what their faith has produced both is a magnanimous magnificent edifice good buildings are you with me 
You can even sleep in it. But mayhem will fall when you visit that house on the sand in August. In December. In a rainy season. Which kind of faith have you developed in your life? Is it the one which is of feelings that has no spiritual attachment? That has no rock relationship. A type of faith that is seasonal where we can see you in January but we are not sure April will keep you up. Because Which kind of faith of building I am asking you have you chosen to build? So, emotional faith has painting that looks like spiritual faith. It could even have plaster. Even the finishing, the finishing resembles like resembles that of the one which is on the rock. Until the flood comes. Many believers today speak big but they don't live what they say. Did you know that if your faith is emotional your prayer will be emotional. Your spirituality in courts will be feelings best you're going to find yourself doing a type of spirituality or practicing a type of spirituality that is not in the spirit. Let me pause there. And go back. Let me pause and go back to Genesis 18. Amen. The Lord appears to Abraham. Somebody say he appears to him in the plains of Mamre. Plains of Mamre. Verse 1. Abraham is seated in a tent. It is a heated day. Abraham lifts up his eyes while he's in the tent and he sees three men standing by him. When he sees them, he runs to meet them. He bows himself to on the ground and he says my lord if now I have found favor in thy sight pass not away I pray thee from thy servant let a little water I pray you be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree 
I have preached from verse 5 before and I never emphasized 1 to 4. So the message today comes from 1 to 4. I have preached about cooking for God. What it takes to cook for God. Amen. Now let's talk about the characteristics of a spiritual man. What is the character formation of a spiritual man? What is being spiritual? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, are you here? I think I should first teach, then we pray. Some people are like, God has touched me, I want to go home. No, I don't want us to go before getting a teaching also. Praise the name of the Lord. You're going to say amen. You're going to say a big amen. Romans 8, 6. Let's open some. Romans 8.6 What is being spiritual? Being spiritual is to be spiritually minded. That is the definition of being spiritual. To be spiritually minded. Somebody said to be spiritually minded. Yes, I'm defining that in a nutshell. To be to be spiritual means being spiritually minded. So the Bible says in Romans 8 6, what does the Bible say there? Are you there? Yes, to be spiritually minded. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life. So a person begins to have life when they begin to live spiritually. Minded. Focused on God. Somebody says spiritually minded. Spiritually tuned. Spiritually focused on God. So I'm adding in on God again because we don't have time. But the word spiritually minded alone is wide. Now let's say spiritually minded in and on the things of God. Somebody say I mind the things of God. Now Abraham is doing something for us here. He is revealing to us the character of a person that is spiritually minded. A person that is spiritually minded number one he sits atula in portals of the spirit. Begin to write. <laughs> you think it's just there. The plains of Mamre. You know, when you come to church, come with a book and a pen. I, I, I advise you. The plain of Mamre, where the tent of Abraham is, is a portal. People who are spiritually minded sit in portals. They understand the dynamics of spiritual portals. I am asking you, where are you seated? Touch your neighbor and ask them, 
Where are you seated? The Bible is about believers sitting in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. What does that mean? It means that a person, whereas a person is on earth, they have found their mamre. The plane of mamre is a portal in the spirit. Now, in the days of Nimrod, men gathered to build a portal that's what we call the Tower of Babel. Are you with me? What they are looking for there is a portal. They are trying to create a plane. They are trying to build a mast in order to reach God. God sees from heaven and he cognizes the intentions of these men. And he makes a statement. If we do not go down to stop them, what they intend to do, which is wicked, is going to be accomplished. So they are going to build a portal. They are going to build a portal that is not ours to tap into that which is ours. That's what divination does. When you see a diviner tapping into your future, the future belongs to God. But you can find a soothsayer, palm reader, they will open your hands and tell you what is going to happen to you in the next 10 years. So how do they tap into that which is God's territory and yet have accuracy in interpreting it. That's why the Bible says God hates divination. Are you with me? He even says let a diviner in your midst be killed. God hates divination. So divination is the same as the Tower of Babel. Building, using that which is not godly to tap into uniquely idiosyncratic information. In other words, privileged information. When I say being spiritual, means to be spiritually minded. And I have added on the things of God. Spiritually minded, focused on the things of God. And the example is Abraham. And I'm showing you the character of people that are spiritually minded. The first character is that they sit in portals. Abraham sits in the tent. But in the plains of Mamre. Somebody say unto him in the plains of Mamre as he sat in the tent door in the feet in the heat of the day. Now, he sits in a portal and I have brought this, I'm repeating myself because you are not yet here. I have shown you that the Tower of Babel is the same. It is a portal of darkness. They're trying to tap into spirituality outside the part of God. So God comes down and stops them. That means that Babel is a broken philosophy. It is a broken mast. People wanted to reach God but it is broken. We don't even know where it is. Some people say it is in Iraq. We do not know. 
But it is there. Are you with me? That place. Notice that Zulanti. had they succeeded they would have attracted something that was not God. Whereas they were going up to God because they were not building according to pattern had they reached the heavenlies they were going to host something that was not God and they would have called it God and no one would have changed their mind let me hope you are understanding please be with me because I am also tired but let's be together are you, are you with me? so if they reach the, 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 the pinnacle of the tower what is going to happen there is that they are going to call that which they find at the zenith of the tower God that is how man is unto the unknown God unto the unknown God so if they go up and they meet some white angel they will call that God. Not knowing that Satan also puts on white robes. Because if you do not build according to pattern, you cannot meet the true God. Keep that at the back of your mind. Now, when you see Abraham sitting in the plain of Mamre. That's where his must is. That's where his spiritual must is. That's where the ladder is. The ladder that connects heaven to earth. So, God wants to come and judge the neighboring country. I'm now showing you the must. I'm showing you the ladder. I'm showing you the tower of Babel, the tower of Abraham. What he had built. God does not have many entry points, many entry points onto the earth. So, he wants to judge, let's say he wants to judge Kenya. He looks around and the closest must to that land is Uganda. Is Mamre. The other must is somewhere in Ethiopia. Maybe. The other one is somewhere, maybe in South Africa. But he, he's coming to Sodom and Gomorrah. So he looks around and the only must that belongs to him is in Mamre. So he descends through Mamre in the plains of Mamre and he, 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 he appears to Abraham because of where Abraham was seated now when you live spiritual when you are spiritually minded you sit in the right places in the spiritual realm the Bible says he appeared to him in the plains of Mamre. Please, I'm not repeating, I'm emphasizing something there. God does not appear everywhere. You remember Genesis 28? I don't want to open many things. Jacob Yakobo runs for many days. Okay, maybe he runs that day. And then he comes to a portal. 
he sleeps there. What is there? There is a ladder. So, had he not rested there, not sat there, he would not have seen the Lord. So the Lord would not have appeared to him if he was not spiritually minded. So a person who is spiritually minded is attracted to portals. You didn't get that one. They are attracted. It's like a magnetic force field, a magnetic pool of all the places in the wilderness. Guess where Jacob feels like resting. The reason is why we no longer have encounters with God in our generation is because we are not spiritual beings. We are not spiritually minded. And that's why we rest and sit in the wrong places. Isaiah in chapter 6 reveals to us that when a person is not spiritually minded and they are carnally minded they will find themselves sitting in a group of a people with unclean lips. The day he meets with God he changes his sitting position. So the dreams you have that present death, dreams where things are strangling you, where your grandmother is now like a beast. Remember, she's already dead. Are you, are you with me? That is carnally minded. To be carnally minded is death. So at the end of the day, if you're not spiritually minded, your dream life is going to be unto death. Your marriage life is going to be unto death. Your relationship is going to be unto death. Because you will sit your marriage in death. You will sit your relationships in death. You will sit everything you have where you live in the spirit. If you are spiritually minded, people who come close to you will sit with you in spiritual portals. What does that mean? That means that if people come around you, we have only 15 minutes. 15, only 15 minutes. Oh my God. Glory to God. People who come to you will either sit with you in open heavens or in closed heavens. Where you live in the spirit is what people join when they join you. Have you not, why have you not asked this question? Have you asked this question before? Why is it that people come around me and the kind of conversation that comes naturally around me is politics. That's where you live. No one comes around me and we do not speak the language of Mamre. I sit in a portal I wish we had we had fresh minds. I don't know if you're understanding me. Sitting in a pot of means that when people that are spiritual come, you can interpret them. Sitting in a pot of sitting under an open heaven there are people up to today who still ask Lord 
kama is this my church ina kanisa yange oh it is not my church you are not spiritually minded those are things you would know without prayer awatali na kusaba some things we pray about we have 15 minutes of transformation wake up some things is this my husband the bible says when the men came because this man was spiritually minded he knew they were not ishmaelites ishmaelites of course Ishmaelites in the Bible mean traders. It's the Ishmaelites that bought Joseph. Yusuf. So whereas Ishmael is his son. I don't know if you understand the context. These are not traders. No. When you're spiritually minded, you sit in heavenly places. I don't know whether you're seeing this. The plain of Mamre reveals God. You will know when your husband appears. You don't need to pray. Reveal to me if you sit in heavenly places. If you sit in portals, you will know that which is of God and that which is not. Bible says Bible come come when the men come he ran to meet them from the tent Meanwhile, there are many points here but i'm going to give you only two two points the running there is because he is a spiritual man the running there the reason as why you don't run towards the things of god is because you carnally minded i was glad when they said unto me let us go where is that gladness How come you take many years asking about things that the poles did not pray about that's how i ask those are the questions i have these days how come discernment is becoming an endangered thing in our day why has it become so hard for a person to get a dream from heaven and the lord appeared to him in the plain of mamre god does not appear everywhere if god is not appearing to you you are not in his portals find your mamre find your sitting position whereas you may be tired get this in your heart of hearts the lord can pass you because you are misplaced so the greatest thing a person can have in life in this life is finding their portals the reason that's why you read about jacob is because he found his portal is because he found his portal he found his plain of mamre have you found your portal have you found where you sit and god manifests did you know that even in our houses i told you that i'm sharing i'm not teaching i'm not doing much even in your house there is a plane of mamre in your house where you stay god does not come everywhere in that same house there are places in your house where you sit to pray and there is an open heaven and there is another place where you pray from and your thoughts run carnally 
I don't know your understanding spirituality. At the prayer mountain, there is a place for you. You go to the prayer mountain and there is a corner. Oh, are you ready for this spiritual dimension? There is a corner on the mountain. There is a place. In the wilderness, there is a place called Horeb. The mountain of the Lord. That is the plain of Mamre for Moses. Where there is a burning bush. The porter's house is the plain of Mamre for Jeremiah. Go to the potter's house there. I will appear to you. I don't know if you're understanding me. So, to be spiritually minded, to be a spiritual person, is to find your sitting position, is to find your portal in the spirit where your operations begin from. Let me do something. Many people want God to use them outside their positions. The Bible says in your positions you shall have the double blessing. Portals have your resting place. So when you read Psalms 23, you don't have time. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let's read it. Then the Bible says, He leads me. Quickly. He leads me. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. And he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse 2 and 3 reveal a place. Verse 4 reveals rest. I talked about resting place. Your resting place is in your verse 2. Verse 2. It's in your lying place. It is in your lying place. Where you lie down. It is in your green pastures. Now listen to this. The plain of Mamre. The plain of Mamre. Is the same as I lie down in green pastures. Besides the still waters. It's a place of spirituality. The still waters there represent the voice of the spirit of God. Faith cometh by hearing. Hearing by the voice of God. So it is in that place that even faith develops. It is in that place that trust in God develops. It is in that place called Mamre that Abraham learns the patterns of God. So when God appears, Abraham can know. How come we cannot know him? I ask that question to so I'm not going into my How come to Tumutege? How can God be in a place when you don't see him? Who unto me? Zinsanze. Who unto me? Zinsanze. I have seen the Lord. But yet my mouth is undone. Because I sit in the midst of a people with unclean lips. Born again. We could understand him when he is manifested. But a person leaves church, the true church, goes to a false prophet 
leaves and comes back to the treasure goes back to the false prophet and you ask them can't you see this and the truth is that they cannot see the reason is why you cannot differentiate between right and wrong is because of where you are seated so when you pray Lord give me the spirit of discernment I'm answering your prayer by a teaching what you need is not the spirit of discernment what you need is right positioning. Some of the things we pray about, I iterate, are not prayer requests. And they are not prayer points. If you are positioned right. Increase your power. Power will come if you are positioned right. Get that. Blessing will come if you are seated in your memory. People pray for promotions. Do you, know, do you know why people are all over from false prophet to true prophet? Do you know why people are all over? It's because of emotionalism. And I have not gotten time to go there. When a person loses spirituality, they enter into the soulish realm of operation. Listen to this. They enter into the soulish realm of operation and it is in that realm that you find emotionalism where a person will feel good pimples and they will say this is the Lord speaking now the Lord can speak and use good pimples but he does not use good pimples all the time even fear can bring good pimples have you ever entered the darkness or a dark room and goose pimples came on you? Was it the Holy Spirit? Some people can say the Holy Spirit was with, the Holy Spirit was with me encouraging me to enter. It was fear. Now listen to this. Emotionalism is where you are feelings best in your faith. So a person, I don't want to, to meddle, I don't want to go into that. I'm just speaking a leaf from there. So what happens is, if you lose your plane of intimacy, if you lose your plane of koinonia, your place of fellowship, which is your place where there is green pasture, your prosperity, your increase, your husband is there, your job is there, that place, your plane of memory, where God encounters you, and he tells you what is to come in the future. It is in that place, for example, that Abraham gets Isaac from. It is in that place that he tells him next year this time. So that's where your prosperity is. That's where, that's where your prayer request is. Let me hope you've understood that example. Now, if you don't find that place, you're going to, Satan is going to create a place for you which is a usurpation. He's going to like transplant you. You're going to live a life where when you should seek God, you seek feelings and you settle with feelings. Have you not seen people or have you not been that person who says, I don't feel it. I don't feel like giving tithe, tithe, tithe this month. Emotions. Emotions. Simple things like, I don't feel like this mother should give. So let me ask a question. Who determines your giving? Is it the spirit? Or emotions? Today they have preached a message that didn't touch me. I will give 
a thousand shillings. I came with ten thousand. But the message didn't touch me. So why do you give? I'm giving you simple questions. Same thing with prayer. The truth is, I'm not supposed to be on the podium now. I know how I feel. I'm not supposed to be, but they, yet God wants me on the podium. So I went before the Lord. And he said, Stand. And he said, Stand. Supposed to be resting. Are you with me? Now listen to this. Because the Spirit guided me. Had I followed my feelings, I would not be here. So those who are touched by God today, we are all going to be touched. So the just shall live by faith. But where do we find faith? We find faith in portals. That's where the voice of God comes. Faith comes by hearing. But the hearing happens in portals. Please get this clearly. The reason is why we have emotional faith. I'm now concluding everything I've told you. It's because we do not have portals. Because we have no portals, we don't have the voice of God. When we get the voice, what comes? Faith. Faith comes by hearing. Where do we hear from? Where are the gentle whispers of the Spirit? Green pastures. Still waters. The still voice is in the plain of Mamre. So if you don't find your plain, your portal, you cannot find faith. Let me wind with that. They tell you, raise your faith and you look for it. As you're getting it, no funa emotional faith. And you get the emotional faith. No funa faith. You get jeba, a faith. Jeba zimba. Sand, sand. Jeba zimba kumusenyu. That's built on sand. E yo kumusenyu. That faith on the sand. Etali arwaz. That's not on a rock. Jeba nyenya negwa. That which is shaken and falls. Kubanga je wajije. Because where you got it. Wajije mu bantunga bogera. You got it from people who are speaking. Wajije mu kuchamu kirira. You got it from excitement. Wajije kupasi tayazenga achamu senaba zamu ama. You got it from an excited pastor. Namuga amuge na kutuwa ala kampala. I told you you're going to eat kampala. Namuga antu tujituala. And you said we are taking it. Are you with me. But now I'm telling Kampala does not come from Kampala the words of the plain of Mamre. It comes from the plain of Mamre. Mamre. Whenever you meet your Mamre, God shows his Mamre. After showing himself, he tells you something which is between you and him. That's what Bathes uh -huh. That's what birth is faith. The resembles the house that was built on a rock. That's what they call a faith. And you tell a person you will die. And the person says, I'll never die. Because he didn't get it from people. He got it from Koinonia, from Mamre. When they told him you will not get Isaac, he said you're joking. The one I saw in my portal, the three men that visited me, they told me it will be like this this next year. I didn't get it from the preacher. I got it from the Lord. Faith that changes things. Are you with me? Faith that changes the surrounding is not in excitement. It's not in encouragement. No. 
koinonia it is in koinonia it is in the place of koinonia when you get it you are in the place of koinonia when you get it you are in the place of koinonia you have that confidence that what we confess has power let me tell you whenever you see persons walking in the power of the Lord which is the real power it has a price where is the price in the place where Abraham was people who are spiritual they have a characteristic of city in the spiritual places waiting on the Lord stop being someone who elopes walking walking because where has it happened? You cannot develop because of what has happened. You can't be everywhere. When everyone is a pastor, everyone touches your head. Everyone gives you anointing. Some of you even have the charisma of anointing. Whenever you don't understand your spirit, some of you even have water. But you pretend to be spiritual. That which you have is emotionalism. Are we together? Me, I just have that charisma of anointing. People in their cars, they walk with bottles of anointing. When they reach somewhere, they spray there at the entering they put water let me tell you that shows that you are emotional the spiritual faith is knowing me coming here anointing has come but that one where he got it from is not in excitement they got it from Mamre. I want you to go back praying this prayer. Show me the place in a spirit. Where my encounter with you is the place of my koinonia. The place where God appears unto men. I want to assure you, you will capture God's message if you are seated in the right place. I'm talking about right church. Because the reason is why some of some of us are not even in right churches is because of one reason. One reason. You're not in the right spiritual position. You find someone in church. You entered the church. When you're a prayer warrior, now you are fornicating. You're still in the same church. You entered when you're virgin. They took your virgin. You're still in the church. Stay there. You stay there. But by the time you'll be there, they'll take your hair also. If you enter a church, ladies and gentlemen, and you begin to dwindle spiritually, don't wait. Run and ask God, Lord, show me my mamre. Show my koinonia. The Lord does not appear to you everywhere. Do not know how many people were on fire until they entered some churches. And all the fire was quenched. But they are still in false loyalty. Because they are moving by emotions. Don't be emotional about destiny. Don't be emotional about destiny. Don't be emotional about heaven and, and the afterlife. Don't be emotional. First reality. You'll be there in mediocrity. And the devil will steal you when you're not prepared. You don't play about 
eternity. Don't play with that one. Find that position that separates you from your neighbor. That place that gives you your originality. That gives you your uniqueness. Did you know? Did you know? Most people we copy paste. When this one does our worship night, this one also prepares. When this one fasts, and they say we are leaving, they also fast. Do you know why that is happening that way? It's because the twin of Mamre, the plane of Mamre, the plane of Mamre is what separates you. I am not like anyone. I am me. Attendees. I preach what I read what God revealed to me. Are you with me? And that is fresh. And that is what God is saying. I am tired of believers who cannot differentiate. Be believers cannot differentiate between a false prophet and a godly prophet. And they are going to heaven. You may ask isn't that being an extremist? You don't know what I just said. What makes you not know to differentiate them? The false prophet from the one which is not. It's where you sit. You get me. You get me. The year Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. People sit in things. When God does, cannot show you the door of heaven. Many people show that Lord I'm helping you. He will not show himself where you are. You have to shift. You have to move. And live where you are. And look for where the magnet is. Look for where your portal is. You have to live where you are. And look for God. Let me tell you. Some people, the things we are in, He cannot use us. There are people that the Lord has taught that when you're still relative you them, cannot find the path that is ancient. People can stop you from meeting God. The year Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. You're clinging on people. You're forcing yourself on something. You hear God telling you to live it. You're forcing yourself on it. You know, we, we began with it. She's my friend. It's our thing. It's our clan thing. We began to Are you hearing me? Until you change location and find your memory. Some of you have now started. You've just started to understand what I've been talking about. You will about. never totally have an encounter with God. If you want an encounter, check where you are seated. The Lord appeared to Abraham while he sat in his tent in the plain of Mamre. The question God is asking us, where are you seated? Which relationship are you seated in? What are you sitting in? Isaiah, where do you sit? Isaiah, Who is your spiritual father? Who 
what covers you chechechi kubikako uwe tu inaba suma bali musiyaga oli wansi wabo yaga mukama na wakuchalire kuti we have homosexual pastors and he was under mukama chali wabasiyazi nimwe kambuze mumusoma bible chikati which bible do you read gusumanga bwe yali ageno chali abasiyazi yali ageno kola chi when he went to visit the Kubasanyao, he had gone to destroy you are under person yagwada, he fell he's already corrupted now you're saying Twaliwo. when we were there Twatandika we started here we are still <laughs> here let me tell you you will struggle as you're going to hear I'm just praying for you may God open your eyes to understand Mamre where they are in this where generation where the portals are in this generation God is not everywhere get it early this gospel is saying but God has I came when I was I don't know whether you with me we fail because of where we sit many people have fail to know God because of the radio station they tune in on every day. Where you sit determines what you encounter. Mamre was a gate of God. Whoever sits in portals gets the chance to meet the owner of the portal. Yes, Today before I came here, I prayed for many hours. Many hours. And I looked into a portal. And the Lord told me, I will come. I will come. So, when I came, I was waiting upon him. I wanted to teach. What did I see? I see a hand. You remember when I say touch and people fell? The first touch. Answer me. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Say hallelujah. So I see him stretching his hand. Are you hearing me? So he did not tell me say touch. I just say when I see the hand I say touch as if then people fell now I got to know that he wanted to move that way before we go for the teaching so I had to put my teaching to shelve it and then we allow him to do what he wanted I can assure you some people have gotten new ranks others have gotten delivered others eyes have been opened someone behind God has healed some people. Are you hearing me? Others have been delivered from death. You have seen hours. Two hours of literally that move. Now, that drains. That drains. If, that drains. If you did not know. It drains. You, you are releasing energy. But now listen to this. When I say let's open the scripture, energy began to come for the teaching grace. No, no, I'm going to show you something. Where is that coming from? My mamre. If you don't get your mamre, you will not have what we call a resource base. You will not have a resource base. I don't know they're with me. What did you the reason as why Samson was never powerful. The way he was supposed to be. Was because Samson, Samson never found Teazula. his memory. Mamulewe. He never found his memory. You don't see anywhere. 
in the Bible. Bible. Where Samson, Samson has an intimacy with I God. God comes to on to Samson for ministry. You don't see consecration. I don't know whether you're even understanding me. He did not have that memory. His father, Manoah, never told him where they met the angel. And that was to his detriment. The Bible says, and the spirit came upon Samson. He got the job of an ass and killed people. And after that, he went back to fornication. No intimacy with God. Are you understanding me? But then you see people who found the koinonia, that, that place, the portals of their destiny. They keep coming back. One of the people that found that portal was Abraham. And that's why you see that Abraham has command in the spiritual realm. He has command. I know who he is. He has command. I know who he is. Command, command, high command. I need the bosi. In the spirit. And we chase demons. And after they find us in the night and struggle, the things you see me speaking, they come from there. I'm telling the people who sit like bosses in church. But hit at night. Something comes, canes you. On Sunday, you put your hands up. We are your children. And you are our father. Let me ask you, which kind of father allows his children to I'm asking a generation. Instead of answering, you're getting annoyed. I'm asking a question, you're getting annoyed. I'm asking my generation. Which kind of a father? I don't know the, are you people understanding me? Which kind of a father? Year after year. Same demon. People, let's find our mamre. Let's meet a place. Where you will stand and say from today, whatever haunts my family has stopped. I, it obeys you. The enemy obeys those who are in mamre. Satan will obey you. Satan will obey you. If you find your plane of mamre, that is our authority. When you see us speaking to a generation, it's because we have found our plane of mamre. We are no longer duplicates of other things. No, we have found a thing. We have touched a place. We command healings. We command breakthroughs. In your position, you shall possess a double blessing. It is in that place that you begin to command your environment and it hears you. Why is our environment rigid why? And why are you not asking the right question? Why? Find your place. 
Find a place of intimacy. Find your mamre. Find the place where God appears. Where God speaks. Where God fulfills promises. Where God tells you, I am ready to eat with you. But as I live, I will speak to you and give to you secrets. Can I hide anything from my friend? It is in that place that secrets are revealed. Men who are spiritual are men that fear the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And if you want to have the secret of the Lord, it is with those that fear the Lord who have found their mamre. Let me tell you, you are not supposed to look for prophets to pray for you. If you understand what I'm teaching you, you do not know what power you will wield, you will carry if you find your mamre. This is what changed our patriarchs. This is what changes families. I told you one day a demon came peeping peeping to checking on my son. One of the twins. So the younger one who came prematurely was the one who looked to be weak. So we were focused on the weak one. The girl. So we focus on the girl. Our eyes are on the girl. We are alert regarding the girl. We forget about the boy. So as I pray in the night, somebody say in my photo. You can play with me. You can step on me. But I'm going to eat a mamre. I become another. It's be unto you. Find your mamre. Find your mamre. I become another thing. Are you here with me? Yes. You, you, I, 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 so I see a demon peeping. Not on the girl, but on the boy. And I told the demon, listen, when you are in mamre, when you are in your portal, when you are seated right, I assure you, Satan does not have power. I told, I told Satan, I understand the message. I'm about to conclude meanwhile. For us here, <laughs> we serve Yahweh. The God of Abraham. If you are not part of that, you are not allowed to touch my children. Now, I don't know if you have understood that prayer. That's the day I got revelation to pray like that. I learned from that day to tell Satan when he comes for us, we belong to another God. We belong to another God. And that has hit Satan so hard. But he called it as a revelation. I don't know if you understood the revelation. I, tell, I, tell, I, tell, I, I, I usually tell him. Now what you have brought here. This. This house. Is my house. I the head of this house. Serve. Elohim. So what are you doing here? And many times he has coiled his tail and he has returned to where he came from. When you meet your portal, Satan will know. Principalities will know. Let me say something. Demons in Entebbe know that there is a man of God in Entebbe called Apostle Sam. It's not, it's not, it's not lost on them. Let me give you an example. A madman. Mad. Uh, mad. 
you know i'm speaking njogera here what i'm saying don't miss interpret me i'm not glorifying myself i'm just appetizing you ndiku anjala a madman omulalu comes around ajayeka bewitching galoga bewitching galoga and i scan him nemutekera comes naja bewitches naloga does some dances nazino bazina in the name of i am mad mulinyali anu ndi mulalu he does it nabikola somebody say he does it nabaka mabikola for many days okumalina ko act 16 akawala does it for many days akawala bakakola akagubira paulo that which for for many days i tell the intercessors do you see that person that is a witch not a madman so i told them stretch your hand you stretch our hands the madman stopped passing in that place from that day now i want to animate it to you i experimented now that is me i said madman i put fire on the road so the madman was coming to do his spiritual patrol he stopped where i had put fire and stood like this and then i said may the fire begin to burn you the madman turns from there and begins to shout as if fire was coming i am praying the madman is not hearing my prayers but what i'm seeing in the spirit is what is happening to the madman from that day i emptied his coven by authority gamba mina let me do something never see a man walking in power and you think comes without a price there is a price there is a price tell ask these intercessors how many hours we pray today there is a price the price is in waiting in memory can wait in prayer can wait in tongues praying in tongues for hours waiting i did not get time to sh- i didn't get time don't play the best because it doesn't it, I, i don't get time are you hearing me hey i don't get time to show you but while he was in his tent he lifted up his eyes and saw this the place of meditation these are the characteristics of spiritual men they are men of meditation many times when i am in my memory i get visions today i got a vision of you are you hearing me you do not know and i began to pray to prosecute prosecute for like 5 minutes prosecuting and the name was yours in those places the lord will we will teach you to lift up your eyes and to see and look and so things are not supposed to happen to you without your knowledge gatomanyi kuba mumpuri ya jemba tutte you're supposed to see in that moment of koinonia mukaserako akensisinkana mumpuliriza nabaga yesiri mukusomesa anshi alinga bimuna tambulira mu in those moments mubusera we buti mumamore that's when god begins to tell you katina jatanike kugamba who your friends are mikwana njo chejiri people that you have to be very far from abantu boyino kwe wala yes we wow he will tell you achapa kubulira that person is dangerous for you ntimubinjo he will be very clear achakubanga ali clear bulonje looked up his eyes and saw 
Three men. And he ran to them. He would tell you. You began business. But now it's time to move alone. You began together. But now time has come to go alone. Are you with me? He will speak to you. Where? Where? He does not appear everywhere. There is your mamre. You in the pink blouse. There is your mamre. A place where your intercession <laughs> will have authority. They don't pray from everywhere. I want you, you, your family, your, your family, family you, you. your family, family you. is going to be affected by your prayers. I, because you also came to my altar. As I was praying. I even asked about your name. I don't even know your name yet. You may not know. When I look at you, I see a woman of fire. You. you. A calling of prayer. Let me tell you something. Finally, finally. You can never know the magnitude of your call until you are in your plane of mamre. You see yourself as a weakling. You see yourself as a weak person. If you don't know that you have authority to stand in the door of your house and you say, whoever wished my mom and dad before I was born because I was born in this house that witchcraft stops And you see them falling one by one. By the grace of God. Let's enter into the prayer of the midnight. Because memory has its watches in the heat of the day. You didn't get time. Okay. We didn't get time. Amen. In the heat of the what? In the cool of the day. God came down. Some people. God gives you time. Where you have to pray. You understand it? The people that are of truth. Midnight. And I told them when it reaches. Trove, we are going to perform something. We are going to detach ourselves. From the houses, every trough. You don't pray much. Pray in tongues. Are you with me? For if one hour or two hours, those who can't, three hours. And then you start to see people who will be bewitching you. And yet you could not understand them with your eyes. You will see them. You will see them. Are you with me? Touch your heart and say, I am going to my mamre. Father, may you appear to me. Father, may you appear to me in my place of covenant. Somebody says, sit in your poto. Sit in your poto. As my family, we sit in our poto. Amina. Amen. Amina. 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 Amen. 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 Get your brethren like Are you with me? Who are saved? Teach them what I've told you. Tell them. Believe me, this last month in this year. You hear me? I have come to you in the year 1984. All of us are two. We are going to wake up. I ask you, we wake up. And tell them the truth. 
Fena tuzukuke. Until the last wake up. Bwe muzukuka. When you wake up. Mwe namusabire kintu kye kimu. May all of you perform things. Okumale na kwa abiri mulumu. For 21 days. Munga muri mu agreement. In agreement. Bwe wanga oluwe kirwadde kiri mu family. If there is a sickness in the family. Muchikube. And heat it. Mwe na all of you. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Munga mwe tayiru. Amen. God called us to minister in goodness and in bad. We made a covenant in health and in health. In Jesus' name. Are you hearing me? Call your brothers, blood relatives. Tell them. There is this sickness called cancer. We try to treat cancer in our family. Our family Let us begin detaching ourselves from that altar and do it continuously. Mchukole obutakoa. Mumpuliza. You will see. Abali ta cancer. You will see who brought cancer. And you will be amazed. Cancer, there are people who bring them. You will be amazed. You see those old people who will be in the village. They are so deadly. Not all of them. I don't want to generalize. But I'm telling you. It beats there. It has it. The shrine. Everyone with a person, with a shrine in the village. Just know you are on an altar in the village. Yes. You just don't know. But you are on that altar. Are you hearing me? As long as there is an altar. The old woman there who is into witchcraft just no part of your bondage are you with me is in that shrine and now I'm telling you how to overcome it erect a mast erect your mamre nothing that the sorcerers fear like discovering your position and you become faithful in it. Satan doesn't fear a person who prays once and stops. He fears a person who got a place Are you with me? who visited the day or prayed and does it for one month. You will change your dreams doing that. And you will change your dreams I'm telling you what to pray for. When you're not supposed to pray for. Now I'm telling you what dreams. Bad dreams. Because for you, you've been dreaming. You've been dreaming. Find your mamre. Zula mamre wo. And speak their names. Jemusi. Yakobo. I take you out where you are put every night. You who takes alcohol, who looks like a thief, I remove you. Because some people are drunkard. When that person has the altar of that spirit, you remember James? He drinks. Amen. Mention the names. Every night. Mention the names. Every night. On your memory. By the time you are the people you are praying for, they will come and hate you. They will attack you. You seek your salvation. Has when you're praying for a person and they attack you pray it has worked 
If it has worked, if you're praying for someone and they attack you, the next thing just first, where you have touched, just be there. It has worked. Amen. It shows that it has worked. They can abuse you with your salvation. Just know they have worked. 15 minutes. We are going to pray. Jesus' name. We are going to pray the things I've told you. I'm done. Let me get my things. Let me get my scroll. We're going to pray. Mamre. 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 Find your mamre. And pray there. Where you are. We are going to pray. Now, I'm going to give you direction that is different for everyone. Look here. Every person get one thing. Are you with me? That failed in your life. A thing that has been rigid in your life. Are you hearing me? And deal with that in 15 minutes. Don't meander. No. Focus on one thing. Uh, because now I've told you about Mamre. Now I have brought you to that dimension. Meanwhile, that's why I delayed teaching. You took long to come. You took, you took long to come. When you came, no one was sleeping anymore. No one is sleeping. No one is sleeping now. Because you came. I don't know that you're with me. Now, where you've entered, are you hearing me? I want you to pray one specific prayer, but I want you to deal with to some an altar to others a sickness to others a rigid person in your life are you with me? a rigid person that has maybe sat on your things and pray for that thing you're going to see what I have taught you so that you will get appetite to stay there you're going to see the power of praying from there. Begin to pray. Test, test it. Check it. A person has sat on your things. A person has sat on your things. Open up that portal. A choto. That altar has held you and your brethren has stopped you from shifting deal with it you're going to see it your jobs are stuck test Mamre. Mamre. you will understand what I mean and don't lose that place that the Lord has introduced you to open your voice everyone open your voice and deal with that thing in the name of Jesus I am dealing right now with territorial dryness in the land of Entebbe I am dealing with territorial rejection in this land of Entebbe I am dealing with the delay now you're going to see testimonies I am dealing with delay you I'm dealing with delay delay will not hold anymore can you lift your voice can you learn to follow the voice of the prophetic can you learn to follow direction can you stir yourself may the Lord help you to understand these things may you understand the shift in the wind when you should be prosecuting that thing that takes you away Get, I've given you a beginning point. Use it. 
use it. Use it. Ten minutes can change your life. Use it. Stand on this altar. Stand in memory. And prosecute. And legislate. Speak. And break out. Believe a lot from memory. Be spiritual. Being spiritual. Being spiritual. Command things that are not as though they are. Now speak to that sickness. You have a problem of sicknesses that are chronic in nature. You have a problem with diabetes. A problem with arthritis. A problem with stomach ulcer. A problem with appendicitis. A problem with eyes. A problem with sinuses. A problem with your throat. A problem with your heart. Stand in memory. The portal of God. The portal of God. And command that thing that has refused to move. That has jawed. That has been rigid to move. By the power of the Spirit of God. I say it, raise your voice. You may not understand. But when God speaks. Those who obey see the dividends. This night is not a night of teaching much. It's a night of transactions. Speak with authority and speak to that funny husband. Funny husband. That man that won't leave fornication. Command him. Move out of Sodom. Be delivered from Gomorrah. Speak to that unruly family. That wife that is unruly. Speak into her spirit. And say you won't stay the same. After tonight. That supervisor. That won't let you go. Test and see the power of the altar. I command you to give way. I torpedo your demonic effort. I torpedo your demonic effort. In the name of Jesus. In Tebe. Open up. We are more than conquerors. In Tebe. Open up. Rata. Saba, saba, saba. Today have the Tokiriza chikweba sa That thing that takes you Moves your mouth Don't keep quiet Don't keep quiet Speak something Speak to your education Speak and be clever in class Stop it in playing around You need an encounter you don't understand things in class. You have something to pray about. Pray. Speak to your boss now. Speak to your environment. Speak to that partner that has delayed. You will come. Somebody pray. Things change when you discover your memory. Things shift when you pray from a high place. From a high position. Get height advantage.
E eu... 